Hey Glam Fam, Linwood here, and today I am going to show you how to do a fishtail braid on locks. Now, as you can see here, this is the ending of my last video where I showed you guys how to retwist locks. So if you missed that, please check it out. I'll put a link uh, just by clicking the eye in the top right corner. You can access that. So let's go ahead and get started on this. So you're going to start off. I went ahead and sectioned off his hair in two sections. Let me have him tilt towards the camera. Here we go. And you're going to go ahead and just begin to kind of pick up a few and cross over. So notice I just brought that middle strand directly through and then from here I'm just going to pick up from one side and pass it over to the other. Now of course I want to keep it in uh, two strands but when I first start out it's honestly easier for me to do it like this just to make sure there are no gaps in the style. And then from there you'll see where I end up switching out and I obviously have two distinct sections it gives a much more defined look when you finish you can see you can do this rather quickly with locks as opposed to with loose or free hair so that's one of the things i love about it is because this is honestly easy enough for someone to do on their own head things that you want to keep in mind is not using too much tension let me switch angles so you guys can see a little better uh, but not using too much tension when you're pulling so if you'll notice here even though I'm picking up this hair and pulling it on over, I'm not doing a ton of pulling on there. These locks are already freshly retwisted, so they feel tighter than normal. And if I were to do it extremely snugly, I would cause quite a bit of discomfort to his scalp. So we just want to make sure we're just kind of gradually crossing over. Usually I grab about two strands or so, maybe one, depending on how intricate I want it to look. Um, if you'll notice in sections or in people's hair where they have like thinner locks, things like that, you can even go as many as three or four and still keep that fishtail type of look. Uh, which by the way, if you're unfamiliar with a fishtail braid in general, you can check out my video on how to fishtail braid. I'll link that in the top right corner. Also, all you have to do is click on the eye. So, moving right along, uh, we're just going to continue this process all the way down the back and if you'll notice I'm pulling from the outsides of the sections I'm not really coming from all the way underneath the sections so because I am doing that it's just going to give it that more detailed look and hold it flat down to the head instead of it being very uh, wonky and wobbly things of that nature so hopefully you guys can kind of see what's going on there now once I get down to the base down in here his locks begin to thin out uh, because this is where they're older here and so I am gradually kind of picking up more than the two strands I was picking up before uh, just because it gives a little bit uh, more ease in styling now depending on how detailed you want it you can always do this in uh, one or two strands you know if you got all day or all your life to do it um, but you guys can see just how detailed that's looking already it's a really simple technique it doesn't take a lot of effort and the thing I love about locks is when I finish I don't even need anything to secure it with I can honestly use a lock wrap it around that bunch and be able to secure it just by tying a loose knot at the end which I'll show you guys here in just a moment so we're going ahead and moving our way all the way down to the ends and then you guys can see I'm grabbing these random strands here as I notice I'm getting to a point where I'm going to have to finish it out, I'll go ahead and grab one lock. Let's see when we get to that part. There we go. And we just wrap that one lock around. Notice I put my thumb in there. And then we're just going to pull through that loop. Pull a little snug. And there you have it. So hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comment box below. Take care and stay glam. Bye you guys.